Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be discussing uh, and we'll try to answer some questions from IGCSE Physics 0625 Paper 2, which is an MCQ based paper. The topic is conduction, convection, and radiation. So we'll try to solve one question from each of the three subtopics, right? So let's move on. Here is a question which says the diagram shows a pan used for cooking food. Which row is correct for the materials used to make the base and the handle of the pan? Right, so this is the handle and this is the metal base. Right, so the base of the pan must be a good thermal conductor or a poor thermal conductor that's the choices we have got now remember the base the base must be a good thermal conductor because then it will transmit heat to the food to cook right now the base the metal base must be a good thermal conductor why because then it will transmit heat energy to the food which is inside to be cooked otherwise it will not be cooked because of no transmission of heat energy. So that is why the base must be a good thermal conductor. So the answer is A or B, right? Now, the handle of the pan. Remember, the handle must be used by us, right? The person who is cooking, he will hold that handle while cooking. So it must be a poor heat conductor. Otherwise, for example, if it is a good heat thermal conductor, our hands will burn, right? Because this handle is used by us to hold it while cooking. So it must be a poor thermal conductor. It must not transmit heat energy, right? So it must be a poor thermal conductor and the base must be a good thermal conductor. So the answer is option B, right? Wood is a good example of poor conductor of heat. So, wood is also a good example for the handle of the pan. Right? So this question was concerning conduction. Let's move forward. Right. This question. A student sets up four cans. Right. So, we have four cans like this. Each can contains the same mass of water at 90 degrees. So the temperature is same for each of these cans and it contains the same mass of water. The cans are identical except for the outside surfaces. Identical means the same in size and shape, right? But the outside surfaces, surfaces are different, right? Which can will cool down the fastest? Okay, remember one thing. Yeah. Here you go. Dull and black surfaces are good emitters and good absorbers of infrared radiation or heat. Right? So the dull and black surfaces are good emitters. Means that it emits heat from itself from... Uh, very quickly right and it absorbs heat as well very quickly right so here it says cool down so that can will cool down which will emit heat very quickly so as you know dull and black surfaces are good emitters so the answer will be a dull and black surface right so this question was concerning radiation let's move forward to the last question which is concerning convection a room is heated by a radiator diagrams x and y show two possible circulations of hot air which heat the room right this is one radiator diagram x and this is another radiator diagram y now if you look here when this air is heated this shows an upward arrow which, which means that the air is rising and here it shows a downward arrow that means the air is not rising it is sinking so let's study the question which diagram and reason explain the heating of the room by convection 
okay so if we look at why remember hot air will always rise hot air can never sink so that means diagram y can be ignored because because it, it is showing a downward arrow which, which means it is sinking so y c and d are not the answers well when we look at x diagram x we see the radiator is heating the air which is rising which is a characteristic of hot air because hot air rises cool air sinks now why is it rising we have two options here air density decreases when air is heated and air density increases when air is heated remember remember that the air density always decreases because hot air is less dense and that why that's why it move upwards it moves upwards right remember hot air will always rise because it is less dense so the reason a which says diagram x and air density decreases when air is heated that's why it moves upwards here yeah. right so i hope you enjoyed the video we'll try to make more videos on igcsc physics so don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you